A popular target for flat earthers is the International Space Station. The reason for this is that the ISS flies in the face of everything they believe in and stands as physical, tangible proof of a spherical Earth. I love the ISS. You've probably seen tons of footage from it during my videos already. So for those who may not be aware, here's a quick breakdown. The ISS is a habitable, artificial satellite orbiting Earth at a height of approximately 400 kilometers. It's basically a giant pressurized tin can powered by solar arrays, with three to six people living on it at any given time. Its primary purpose is to conduct research in microgravity, especially for the purposes of future manned missions in space. The ISS kind of served as a replacement for the Mir, a former Russian space station which deorbited in 2001. And you have to admit, the second station is a lot more... organized looking. But of course, the ISS is fake. It's a soundstage somewhere, using green screens and harnesses and all manner of cheap Hollywood effects to trick the world into believing it's in space. Let's go over why that's absolutely re fucking ridiculous. There are a ton of videos that claim to show ISS fakery, and all of them can be summed up thusly, ignorance and confirmation bias. Check out this one. At the end of an interview, before the live feed cuts out, a glitch occurs, and the astronauts warp a little before the feed goes black. For a flat earther, this is confirmation that the astronauts are standing in front of a green screen, and the video feed must be two layered images. Their proof for this is that the glitch affects mostly only the astronauts, while the station around them stays, mostly, undisturbed. Keyword mostly, except for the parts that do get disturbed, for which they have no explanation. What you are seeing here is called a video artifact. They're nothing more than data errors in the compressed bitstream of the video, caused by transmission errors. The exact same thing will happen to a bad Skype call before it drops off completely. This is not evidence of fakery, it's evidence that NASA records in MP4 format. Let's have a look at another one, using the common claim that harnesses are used to make astronauts appear weightless. Glossing over a fact that a lot of these videos say the astronauts claim to be in zero-g, which they don't and are not, let's look closely at his claim. Then look at the man behind him with a stripy top on. Now he's looking up and he's looking, he's, get, he's grabbing the wire, look. He's looking for the wire to grab it, yeah? He's looking for the wire. Says you, you think he's looking for the wire because you want to believe there's a wire to look for. It looks to me, based on the normal speed footage, he was just reaching for a handhold to keep himself steady, briefly decided he didn't need one, and then decided he actually did. Next, he claims the man with the marine shirt is grabbing the wire and tugging his trousers. With the USMC t-shirt. Check his arm. Watch this. Check his arm. Look, his arm goes, goes to grab him, look. But he doesn't grab him, he grabs the wire. Look, there's no there's nothing there. But he's grabbing something and it's tugging his he's tugging his trousers up. Again, says you. He definitely didn't grab the man's pant leg. Pretty sure he just missed. That can happen, you know. But go ahead, see what you want to see. I suppose when you see footage like this, which would be literally impossible to fake with a harness, you can just block it out of your mind so it doesn't burst your precious bubble. Another point made is the supposed golden maintenance record of the station. If there's so much debris in space, they will claim, why does none of it hit the station? Since science teaches us that space debris moves so fast it would punch a hole through anything it hit, then why doesn't it? Well the answer to that is really simple. Uh, it fucking does. The ISS, shuttles, satellites, and the Mir have all been damaged by debris on several occasions. The most notable incidents include one in 2012 when a piece of debris struck the cupola module window, causing a circular chip 7 millimeters in diameter. Thankfully, the astronauts remarked, the windows are quadruple glazed. Later, in 2013, astronaut Chris Hadfield snapped a photo of a hole punched into one of the solar arrays caused by a tiny rock. Bear in mind, the ISS is not without countermeasures for this kind of stuff. While it's impossible to track everything out there, the station has a protective zone of a few kilometers around it, and is monitored by the US Space Surveillance Network. If there is a 1 in 10,000 chance of collision with an object, the station is moved using onboard gyroscopes and thrusters. It's had to do this 23 times in its history, and even then, it still gets hit enough that an administrator once described the solar arrays as resembling a bullet-ridden Texas road sign. 
My final proof for the existence of the ISS is probably the most important one. You can see it for yourself. That's right. Finally, what Flat Earthers always request. Proof that doesn't come from NASA. Proof from outside of the Masonic cabal that has brainwashed us all. If only Flat Earthers would point their high-powered cameras up at the sky instead of watching ships disappear over the curve of the Earth. Not really sure why they do that anyway. It only disproves their own point. There's a channel called Red's Rhetoric, run by amateur astronomers who have done some fantastic work. They've captured a few videos of the ISS passing in front of the moon and in front of the sun. Let's take a look at one. I love this footage because you can see how zoomed in on the moon he is by the fact that we can actually see it moving in the sky. Oh, look, what was that dark shape passing by the moon? Too fast for you? Me too. Let's slow that down a little bit. There she is, the International Space Station in all her glory. Not just a tiny dot against the night sky, not just a streak in space, a distinctive shape complete with solar arrays. There's no doubting what you're looking at there. That is the ISS, orbiting the Earth right over all of our heads. So there you have it folks. The ISS is real, a testament to scientific achievement, and one of the most incredible technological marvels of our time. And not only that, but it stands as a monument to the failure of the Flat Earth Society. So carry on, Space Cowboys. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, like it. If you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel, which is Lazy Alien. As usual, my name's Kevin, and I'm out.